Okay, the last thing we really need to address is uh, composition and nesting classes. To understand composition, we need to understand the uh, has a and is a relationships in Java. And I just want to give you a quick example. A lady is a mother, and a mother has a child, right? A lady, a mother, all mothers are ladies. But a mother is only, a lady is only a mother if they have a child. If I was to build an object oriented programming around this, I would say that mother extends lady, but a child in this case is an attribute of the mother, right? We build a separate object mother that, we build a separate object child that mother would hold on to. When we're discussing attributes of a class, we're talking about has a relationships. A, um, a dog has color. A dog has a name. A dog has a quantity of legs. A dog has a gender. And so when we talk about that, we're talking about composition, right? Let's look at uh, some examples in code real quick. Here's a real estate listing. This real estate listing has a number, a price, an address, and square foot, right? So basically it has house data, you know? Um, a real estate listing is, is a, is an advert, or it is a, um, I guess an advert's the best thing to say about it, right? So it can extend advert, if you will, but it has these values. Now one thing I want us to point out as well is that we can create an inner class within this class to hold things like house data. Yes, the real estate listing has house data and the house data can be an inner class set up inside this class. It's like a helper class that works with this class. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't usually develop um, inner classes this way. I have used anonymous inner classes and we'll talk about that in the future. But I don't typically set up inner classes this way. But a lot of legacy code is does work this way and so you need to at least understand that you could have a separate class here. This house data within the real estate listing class. And this class is private because it's only called from when I need the real estate listing to access that house data. All right, so um, that pretty much explains composition and inner classes. There are some other things that are probably relevant to inner classes, but you will cover those as you code. We will stop the recording here.